Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching a time lapse of me I'm doing a watercolor painting. I got this idea because I was doing a lot of research um, in Japanese culture for a commission that I'm working on, and I sketched this image in my sketchbook, and I loved it so much I decided I wanted to take it to the next level, so I transferred it over onto some watercolor paper using my light box. Again, I'm using those no-name, unbranded watercolors that were sent in the subscription box that I received. Um, however, this time I'm actually using pan watercolors instead of liquid. And I think I actually might like these better. Um, they seem to be a little bit easier for me to control. If you're a beginner, you might want to stick with pan watercolors. Later in this video, I will also be using some inks to try and <laughs> hide some crimes, as well as, you know, bring life into this image with uh, some line work. When I say hide some crimes, you'll see there's a spot on the paper where I put down a little bit too dark of a color first off and then it just stayed too dark and I tried to work it into the design in different ways and uh, in the end I just decided to try and cover it up using ink and I'm using Winsor & Newton drawing ink in crimson. In the end I also used Winsor & Newton Indian ink in black to uh, put the line work back in. Here is a brief message from past me regarding the Windsor & Newton crimson drawing ink that I'm going to use. Okay, so it's completely dry now. You can see here where I messed up. I put a, too dark of a color down to begin with and there's a line here. Um, what I'm going to try and do is I have some Winsor & Newton ink, which is crimson color, and I'm going to go over her dress in that ink. I don't know if it's a good idea. It probably isn't. But first, before I do that, I want to color in her eyes, and, um, and then we can try the red ink. Okay, so let's get started with the eyes. I have three dilutions of red. We'll, go, we'll start with this one just put over it and then in the folds we'll go with the darker one all right cross your fingers so yeah I once again as you can see overworked the paper a little bit and tried to fix the errors I don't have very much left to say about this image um, it, other than just that one spot, everything else went smoothly. I do wish I still had the reference photo because I know that the, the creases and the folds in her kimono are completely inaccurate and if I had the reference it would have helped me so much but for whatever reason 
I did not save that image, so <laughs> I was just bas basically going off a sketch and my imagination, so please forgive the awful folds. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will let you enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you at the end. So that's it. I'm going to take the tape off here in a second, and we'll see how she looks. And there you have it, the finished piece. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and consider following me on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks everyone. See ya.